What's up everybody, Lightroom has just released a major new update. In this update, they've added things to the masking and the selective tools within Lightroom, and they made it a lot easier to use. I know this update is one that a lot of people have been waiting for, and it's finally here. In this update, you can select people, you can select the sky, you can select a certain color, or you can even select a certain luminance, which is the brightness of a certain part of a photo. This makes it a lot easier to select certain things within a photo to edit with the select tool, and it's honestly a game-changing update for Lightroom. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can use all these new features within Lightroom and how you can use them to edit your photos. So let's get right into the video. <laughs> So if you've ever used the select tool in Lightroom, you know how hard it is to select your subject of your photo, whether it be a person, an animal, or whatever it is. You have to literally draw on that subject to select them. It just takes a long time because you have to draw it perfect because if you don't, you'll go outside of the outline of the subject and you'll be editing parts of the photo you don't want to edit. We've all gone through the struggle of trying to select the subject in Lightroom. <laughs> can see the subject which is me in that photo it's kind of hard to select me just by drawing but now they've made it a lot easier to do let me show you how this new update works As you can see, this new subject select tool works perfectly and selects the subject perfect. No more having to draw it out or take hours to try to select a subject. You just press one button and then the subject selected. That's just one of the many features this update's added. So let's get into the rest of the features. So the next thing they've added is the ability to select the sky. So this is the same thing as selecting the subject, except you're selecting the sky rather than the subject. So you just press select sky and there you go. It selects the sky for you. It's simple as that. So what you would use this tool for is to select the sky to edit it because maybe it's too bright or it needs more color to it or the sky could be oversaturated or over highlighted that's the most common thing i find when i'm editing my skies is sometimes when you're editing the original photo the sky will get oversaturated or over highlighted so you have to select the sky and go back and fix that so that's the most common thing i would use the select sky tool to fix let me show you how you can do that so for this photo i actually want to turn down the sky's exposure a little bit because i think it's too bright to go with the rest of the photo and the sand's kind of dark so i want to make the sky a little bit darker so it matches the rest of the photo so i'm going to turn the exposure down and i think right there is about right and the sky already looks a lot better to toggle your selection you just press the little circle square icon in the top right corner i don't know how to explain that icon but you just press that icon which is another cool feature that they've added to this update that they didn't have in the previous version and that's how you can use the sky selection tool all right before we get into the third new thing that they've added to this new update if you're enjoying the content just make sure to leave a like on this video because it would really help me out and i would really appreciate it also i'm austin collins i'm a photographer and a videographer and on this channel i do photography tips as well as videography tips if you're interested in any of that just make sure to press subscribe on my channel the subscribe button will be right there and I would really appreciate that as well. So now let's get into the third feature that they've added to this update. So the next three things within the select tool are the brush, the linear, and the radial selection. Those select tools were actually already in the previous version of Lightroom. I did a tutorial on how you can use those in a basic editing tutorial within Lightroom. So if you're interested in watching that, it'll be right here. So we're gonna skip over those three since they were already in the previous version. We're gonna get to the new stuff, which is the color selection and the luminance selection. The color selector is basically you select a color and it'll select that color throughout your entire photo. So let's say I wanna select blue in this photo. It would select all the blue parts of my photo. That way you can edit one color of the photo. So the refine thing, what that means is you're turning up the brightness or turning down the brightness of that color that you've selected. So that's all refine means. So if you turn it up to the right, that turns the brightness of the color up and brings the color out more. You turn it down, it darkens the color, makes the color stand out less in your photo. So what this can be used for is editing like small things. Maybe you want to change the way someone's pants or their sweatshirt or a piece of clothing stands out on someone. That's what that would be used for. Let's say I want to turn my gray sweatshirt to brightness up. That's what I would use it for. I can select the gray on my sweatshirt and turn the brightness up of my sweatshirt to make my sweatshirt stand out more if I wanted to. The next tool they've added is the luminance slider, which is basically the same thing as the color slider except for the luminance. If you don't know what luminance is, basically luminance is the scale of the brightest to the darkest color on your photo. So let's say your photo is all blue, okay? You have aqua blues and you have dark blues. So if you're selecting the luminance of the aqua blue, that is the brightest part of your photo. So if you select that and you refine the luminance and turn that luminance down, it will 
darken all the brightest parts of your photos that you've selected. If you select the dark blue part of your photo, refine that and bring it up. That will make your photo brighter because you're increasing the brightness of the darks of your photo. So that in turn is making the whole photo brighter. It's kind of a complicated concept, but once you understand it and see how it works, it's a lot more easier to start using. This is a slider that I wouldn't use much because it doesn't really affect the outcome of your photo and it's not used very much. Things you could use it for is if your photo is really dark coming out of camera and you want to make it a lot more brighter, you can use the luminance slider, select the darkest part of your photo and turn it all the way up to the right to make it super bright. But this is a very rarely used selection and I wouldn't recommend using it unless you absolutely have to. So there's actually one more feature that I want to talk about that doesn't involve the selection slider. They've also added in this update. So this feature is the ability to have Lightroom select a preset fits your photo. Basically Lightroom will analyze your photo and choose from a bunch of presets to figure out which one they think fits your photo best. So this tool can be used if you're editing your photos really fast and you just want to find the best preset to apply to them really quick. It can also be used to give you ideas for editing your photo. So it's a really cool tool if you want to get ideas for editing your photos and sometimes they'll give you good presets to apply to your photo and it'll change your perspective on how you're going to edit the photo and sometimes they won't give you the best presets and you just don't use them then. But I'm gonna be honest, this tool's about 50-50. Sometimes they'll give you good presets, sometimes they'll give you presets that don't fit the photo. It's just a good tool for getting ideas for editing. Well, after they've added about 50 new default presets that you can apply to your photos, and these presets are actually pretty good as well. So if you wanna learn more about photo editing and how presets work, I have a video on it right here. I also have a basics Lightroom tutorial right here if you wanna learn all the basics of Lightroom and editing. I also have tons of more advanced editing tutorials on this channel, so if you're interested in that, make sure to press subscribe or you can check the channel out. Yeah, this was the Lightroom update. It's a really great update and I'm so excited they added all these new selection tools and I can't wait to start editing my photos with them. Thank you for watching the video and I'll catch you in the next one.